Hey y'all, I've been meaning to make this video for a while. I had been thinking about buying one of those, uh, what do you call it, Keurig single cup coffee makers. Just never could get around to dropping a hundred bucks on something just for the convenience of making one cup of coffee at a time. Then I saw a buddy of mine who posted something the other day on Facebook who said he went to clean his Keurig uh, and, and all the internal guts of the thing and found it so filthy and disgusting on the inside he probably wouldn't even use the thing again. So um, that was when I decided to go ahead and finish up this video. I'm going to show you how to make a single cup coffee and the total investment that you will make will be about three dollars and change and you'll be able to make a single cup of coffee fresh hot and delicious but you'll only pay maybe about 12 to 15 cents including the electricity to heat the water up so anyway stick around and i'll show you oh and you're wondering why lucy is in the video with me well how many more hits do you think i'll get by having that cute little face in my video right okay so here we go let me show you how to make a, a cup of coffee so here is the entire unit that will replace the Keurig coffee maker. It is simply a little one-piece plastic unit that's cone-shaped in the top. There's a little tiny hole down there in the bottom, if you can see it. Comes through on that side, and that's the whole thing right there. And so here we go. We're going to start out here with our uh, plastic basket that I told you about a minute ago. We're going to take one cup of cold tap water. I'm going to use this little plastic uh, container right here. One of those little reusable microwave containers. We're not going to put that in the microwave, but it's just convenient to use. I'm going to take a spoonful of coffee. And I'm going to use one of these little filters. Also, these are the Publix brand, as you can see, but you, there are other brands that are much more expensive, but uh, th this works perfectly fine. It is the number two cone-style filter. Not your everyday coffee filter for a coffee maker, but for this uh, unit, it works perfectly. It's what it calls for. Um, these were a package of 100 for $2.99, so that means that each filter is about $0.03. Cents so, we're going to take a spoonful of coffee, whatever type of coffee you use, just regular coffee grounds. I used relatively well-rounded tablespoonful. Pour that in to the little plastic container. And then I'm going to take and I'm going to put my cup of hot water into the microwave. And I'm going to just bring it to a boil. Okay, well our water has boiled, so pop that out of the microwave, take that right over here to my container with the dry coffee grounds, and I'm going to carefully pour that right over the coffee grounds. That was not a very good shot, but you get the idea. I'm not going to redo it because this isn't a professional video. <laughs> anyway. So now I have my boiled water with the coffee grounds and that's going to sit there and all, the more you let that sit in there, the, the, the more flavor you're going to get from those coffee grounds. So we've got our hot cup, we'll take our basket with the filter and then we'll come over here to our liquid with the coffee grounds, stir that just a little and then we'll come over here and we'll pour that in. Try and do this holding a camera with one hand and pouring with the other and not spilling anything. So as you can see, basically you're doing the same thing that a coffee maker would do. And essentially it's the same thing that your curing would do, but at a whole lot less money. See that? That's all that good coffee, minus the coffee grounds. It's got the good coffee flavor in it, but all the coffee grounds are being filtered out by the filter. 
Okay, and there you go. That has taken about a minute, and you can see that the coffee grounds that are in the filter are uh, dry. The liquid has filtered its way through the coffee grounds and through the filter, and now we're ready to go ahead and enjoy a cup of coffee. Oh yeah, oh that's it. That is a perfect, fresh, hot cup of coffee. It took about, oh, what, four minutes to make total time. It took me an investment of $3 for the plastic cup, three cents for the filter, and I haven't done the math on how many scoops of, of, of coffee I get from a pound. I'm gonna just take a ballpark guess and say it's about a dime for a big scoop of coffee. So. About 15 cents investment for this cup of coffee, four to five minutes worth of my time, and I didn't have to pay a hundred bucks for that ridiculous Keurig. You guys take care. <laughs>